weeks ago at Battleground, the American Nightmare suffered a heartbreaking loss to the apex predator Randy Orton inside a cold and unforgiving steel cage. Cody Rhodes is back tonight with his head on straight, looking to shake the cobwebs off and start his road to redemption here on Friday Night SmackDown. Still to this matchup, Cody going behind, crossroads, enthusiastic as all hell, into the cover. Moving on to the second round. You know, Cody Rhodes, over the last year on Friday Night SmackDown, has seen the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. Last year at SummerSlam, defeated the man who is currently the World Heavyweight Champion, Duther. Back and forth we go, once more, Cody Crossroads! And the American Nightmare is heading to New Orleans! Who will meet CM Punk in tonight's main event in the King of the Ring Finals? Cody Rhodes may be out. Ilya Dragunov, eyes locked. H-bomb! That's gonna do it. Dragunov securing his spot in the finals. Not just yet. Both these men gotta be feeling the effects of war. Ilya Dragunov's not looking well. Cody Cutter! And is it Cody Rhodes moving on to the finals? Not just yet. Ilya Dragunov is still alive. Cody on the ropes, Torpedo Moscow, nobody to be found. Another sidestep, Cody did his homework, schoolboy. He got him, he got him. Cody Rhodes gets the victory. It is the King of the Ring Finals here in New Orleans, Louisiana. A little bit slow to get back in there. Oh, that's a way to re-enter the ring. Over the top rope, using his own body as a weapon. Here tonight in New Orleans, Cody Cutter in the early going. Cody Rhodes may be finding redemption throughout the King of the Ring tournament, but not if CM Punk has his way. Wait a minute, wait, hold on. CM Punk has got Cody hoisted. Go to sleep. Punk's gonna do it here. Punk to win, King of the Ring. Not just yet, Cody Rhodes is still alive. Although Cody, just like there, has shown signs of life throughout this matchup. Hold that thought, pedigree by the American Nightmare. Cody it would be a shot at the World Heavyweight Championship from SmackDown. For CM Punk, a shot at the WWE title from Raw. And Cody may be the man getting that wish. Alberta Breaker, unfortunately, does not deliver a three count. Oh no, Cody in trouble. Out of nowhere, second GTS delivered. Punk CM Punk's ticket to SummerSlam, or maybe not just yet. Could be looking for the crossroads, but CM Punk with an elbow to the open wound. Misses the axe hammer. Cody goes behind. Punk in trouble. Crossroads. He's not done. A second. One more time. A third. Crossroads by the American Nightmare. Cody Rhodes is going to SummerSlam. Last year at SummerSlam, Cody Rhodes ended the United States Championship reign of the ring general Guther. Guther cannot be happy about this outcome. Cody Rhodes solidifying his spot in history about this 2024 King of the Ring winner and the American Nightmare punches his ticket to the main event on August 17th to challenge for the World Heavyweight Championship. King Cody Rhodes awaits at SummerSlam, but who will be the World Heavyweight Champion? 
this past Saturday, Guther retaining the gold over the almighty Bobby Lashley. But tonight, in the Spectrum Center in North Carolina, here on SmackDown, six SmackDown All-Stars are set to compete in a gauntlet main event. The winner becoming the number one contender for the Ring General at Money in the Bank. It is going to be the almighty Bobby Lashley, the Celtic warrior Sheamus, the Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre, El Idolo, Andrade, the mad dragon Ilya Dragunov, and the apex predator Randy Orton, who will punch their ticket to London, England to battle for the world heavyweight title. Well, that gauntlet matchup coming up in your main event later tonight. But as advertised, a United States Open Challenge by yours truly, the one and only human highlight reel of Friday Night SmackDown, Ricochet. Ricochet winning the United States Championship upwards of two months ago here on Friday Night SmackDown. And since then, he has retained the gold over Carmelo Hayes, as well as the New Day's Kofi Kingston. But Ricochet, the ever-fighting champion, issuing this open challenge to the SmackDown locker room last week. And now, kicking us off here in Charlotte, North Carolina, the red, white, blue, and gold is on the line. Of course, Carmelo Hayes has continued to haunt Ricochet in a sense ever since he came up short at Battleground in the beginning of May. Could it be Carmelo Hayes finally capitalizing on an opportunity once more to challenge Ricochet for the United States Championship? All remains to be seen. All depends on who's signed on the dotted line first. Who is stepping up to challenge for championship gold here tonight? Well, this is gonna be a good one, kicking things off here in Charlotte. Alpha Academy's Master Chad Gable. Well, Chad Gable recently impressed in the first round of the King of the Ring Tournament. Went one-on-one -on -one with El Idolo Andrade last month, came up short with a great showing by Alpha Academy's leader. Chad Gable, obviously the first one to hustle up to management and sign the contract on the dotted line, revealing himself as the new challenger for Ricochet's United States Championship here tonight. The former Olympian and Chad Gable has been on the hunt for championship gold numerous times over the last 12 months and change here on SmackDown. And now another opportunity rearing its head tonight. Ricochet issued the open challenge. Chad Gable accepting. And on a night where we will crown the number one contender for Gunther's World Heavyweight Championship, we bookmark tonight with the United States Championship Open Challenge. Let's send things down to the ring for your official match introductions. Introducing the challenger from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable! And his opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 190 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, Well, I will tell you what, sometimes championships breed the best competition, and right here on Friday Night SmackDown, we fight on Friday nights, and that is what Ricochet is looking to do, issuing an open challenge to the SmackDown locker room, looking to be a ever-fighting champion, handing out an opportunity to the man who deemed himself necessary, Chad Gable stepping up in what should be one hell of a contest to kick things off. This matchup brought to you by Velocity, which goes down each and every Wednesday afternoon over on the No Nation Gaming TikTok channel. You can go ahead and scan the QR code that is upcoming on your screen. Go follow No Nation Gaming over on TikTok and never miss a moment of the action on Velocity each and every Wednesday afternoon. But here we go. The United States Championship is on the line. Chad Gable and Ricochet 
locking horns to kick things off. We are just a few days removed from an eventful King of the Ring event in New Orleans, Louisiana. Of course, SmackDown's American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, coming out wearing the crown of the king and not only etching his name in the annals of history, but also earning himself a World Heavyweight Championship match in the main event on Saturday night, August 17th in Ford Field at SummerSlam. Saw Cody Rhodes road to the kingdom at the top of the hour, but it may not be Gunther standing across from the American Nightmare when we get to Detroit in August. Maybe one of the six men that are gonna step up later tonight in the gauntlet matchup. But we'll talk about that in due time. Let's focus in on the action as Chad Gable soaring three quarters of the way across the ring with an extraordinary headbutt to try to keep down the United States Champion. Already two successful defenses in the United States Championship reign for Ricochet. But the third may be his detriment. And I gotta say, it is very interesting. This is now the second time that Ricochet has issued an open challenge here on SmackDown. The first accepted by Kofi Kingston of the New Day. This one accepted by Chad Gable of Alpha Academy. But we know Carmelo Hayes has been itching for another opportunity against Ricochet. He has ambushed him from behind before Battleground, after Battleground. Melo has been in the crosshairs of the one and only here and there on SmackDown. I don't wonder what the mindset is of Carmelo Hayes not capitalizing on these opportunities, or is it simply a case of these other superstars beating them to the punch? Nonetheless, Chad Gable with the golden opportunity tonight. So far, he's looking hot against the human highlight reel, but one thing about Ricochet can never discount his efforts between the ropes. A man who has continued to climb the ranks here on Friday Night SmackDown. Hell, a man who challenged Gunther earlier this year for the World Heavyweight Championship. Long, hard road to becoming the United States Champion it was for Ricochet, finally culminating back in the month of April against the phenomenal AJ Styles, sending Styles packing to Monday Night Raw. Now Ricochet looks to continue his championship reign on and forward tonight. Chad Gable obviously with other plans. Ricochet looking to outmatch him with his speed and agility. Great excellence being shown. The United States champion got to where he is for a reason, and Gable is finding that out firsthand tonight. Knocked down to the outside. Ricochet's wheels are a-spinning, and his body could be momentarily. Looking for the corkscrew, nobody home. Crashing a burn for the one and only. Chad Gable doing his homework. And now on the outside, laying out the champion. Ricochet went high risk. Unfortunately for the champion, twas not high reward. Chad Gable now wreaking the benefits of that crash and burn. We have seen Gable challenge for the Tag Team Championships alongside his partner Otis. We have seen him challenge for the Cruiserweight Championship dating back to last year. Tonight he challenges for the United States Gold. Will Gable finally capitalize on winning a championship here on SmackDown? The Fisherman Buster at ringside. I'll tell you what, Gable did not bring the fight to the outskirts of the ring, but he is certainly keeping it there momentarily, using his surroundings to inflict just a little bit more damage on Ricochet. Now go to the top! And again, high risk, high reward not to be for Chad Gable, but look at Gable, letting adrenaline fuel him. Fighting through the pain and now muscling Ricochet down into the crossbody. Looking to tap out the champion and proclaim himself as the new United States title holder. Ricochet thought he had Gable off the sidestep. But Chad Gable came in with an A plan, a B plan, all the way to Z. Now Ricochet, some hurry up offense. Trying to cradle up Chad Gable for the pinfall, not to be just yet. Dare I say, Ricochet's best maneuver right now might just be to slow things down. That's very interesting to say of who we are talking about. The human highlight reel, somebody who loves to fly around the ring and rev up the engines. It is Ricochet who has been on the receiving end of a flurry of offense by Chad Gable. And Ricochet's best maneuver right now, maybe to try to slow things down and wrestle his style of matchup. Ain't going nowhere. Chad Gable's got a hold of you. Full Nelson German, unfortunately, did not get the three count Chad Gable wanted. 
I'll tell you what. Gable's got to be near on the finish line. Ricochet has got to be feeling the toll of all these suplexes and the variations that Gable has in his repertoire. Three Germans on the champion. And Gable back into the pinfall. And many an ear falls so far in this championship defense. But Ricochet proving why he is a worthy holder of the gold. Into the ropes he goes. Gable again. Another German. Another. We need a counter on the screen. How many suplexes has it been tonight in Charlotte, North Carolina? The Germans, the half Nelsons, the full Nelsons, the fishermen busters. Gable throwing Ricochet from pillar to post. And will it benefit him here? And Ricochet still in this matchup. Well, the one and only may be surviving, but he does not look like a man who is thriving at the current moment. He may have been getting the shoulder off the canvas, but Chad Gable is in firm control. At least he was momentarily. Now or never, as Gable rolls to the outside, trying to get his wits about him, but that is where Ricochet is most dangerous, striking out of the air. Back inside the ring goes Gable. And the United States champion hot on his tail. Springboard. The champion is starting to rev up his own engines here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Gable brought to his feet. Certainly not by will, but by force of the current United States champion. And now Gable atop. Wait a minute, Ricochet. We may know what he's going for here. He has pulled out this maneuver against Carmelo Hayes, as well as Kofi Kingston, the neck breaker from the top. Charlotte coming unglued inside the Spectrum Center as we kick things off tonight with a grandiose United States Championship Open Challenge. Ricochet to the cover. And Gable is still in the contest. Well, this is what the United States title is all about. And this is what SmackDown is all about. We fight on Friday nights. Competition at an all-time high. Gable on the shoulders. Cradle shot into the cover. And Gable exploding with the kick out. We have got a good one, folks, to kick things off tonight. It is now Ricochet who is dealing a fury of offense and somehow Gable is surviving, but maybe not much longer. Spiked right in his dome and out to the top goes the human highlight reel. Shooting star press. Another successful United States Championship defense for the one and only. Gable with a great contest on his end tonight but ricochet proving why he is deserving holder of the united states championship here is your winner and still the wwe united states champion Rick oh wait a minute wait a minute carmelo hayes we talked about this earlier Mello strikes again Carmelo Hayes, whatever mind games he is playing, not accepting the open challenges, but still being in the crosshairs of the champion continues to benefit him. Melo will not rest until he becomes the United States champion, until he takes down Ricochet and is holding gold here on Friday Night SmackDown. Another ridiculous assault.
We want to take a look back at two weeks ago on Super Smackdown in Mexico City. The Latino World Order, Santos Escobar and Rey Mysterio challenging a town down under. Austin Theory and Grayson Waller for the WWE Tag Team Championship. A highly anticipated rematch from WrestleMania several months ago. Could have went either way in Mexico City. Theory and Waller almost had this one on several of occasions, but in the end, Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar bringing this one home, becoming the new WWE Tag Team Champions. But who is going to be their first contenders? We find out next Friday night in a Tornado Rules Fatal 4-Way matchup. It is A-Town Down Under, Axiom as well as Nathan Frazier up against Imperium and up against the Street Profits. Four Corners matchup. The winner moving on to July the 5th at the Great American Bash to challenge the LWO for the WWE Tag Team Titles. That is coming up next week in Atlanta on SmackDown, but we are back inside the Spectrum Center in Charlotte, North Carolina, where we have a return matchup from numerous weeks ago as the prodigy, Roxanne Perez, is gonna have her hands full with a woman she upset back in the Women's, women's, excuse me, women's World Championship Eliminator, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. That was a tongue full. Nonetheless, Asuka the one who threw down the gauntlet for this matchup called out Roxanne Perez for the return match. Perez not one to deny the challenge, but has she bitten off more than she can chew? And from Oh, well, you notice Io Sky accompanying Asuka out of the ring tonight. Interesting situation there. We want to take you back to this past Saturday. Io Sky one-on-one -on -one with Raquel Rodriguez for the Women's World Championship and Smoothie King Center in New Orleans at the King of the Ring. Got to give credit where credit's due. EO Sky was a guns ablazing in this matchup. Almost had Raquel B on numerous occasions, but credit to the champion in her very first defense, digging down deep, outlasting the best that EO had to offer, Raquel retaining the Women's World Championship this past Saturday night. Interesting why EO Sky is out here with Asuka tonight. Unfortunately, a question we don't have the answer to, but nonetheless, again, Asuka challenging Roxanne Perez to this rematch. It was a number of weeks ago in the midst of the Women's World Championship Eliminator. Roxanne Perez upsetting Asuka, moved on to the finals where she fought Io Sky back at Super SmackDown. An unfortunate defeat for Roxanne Perez on that night as it was last week. And Roxanne Perez and Raquel Rodriguez fell short to Asuka and Io Sky in a tag team matchup. Perez looks to bounce back from those losses. However, looks to keep her momentum up against one Asuka here tonight. And again, now the X Factor at ringside. Io Sky in the corner of the Empress of Tomorrow. As we mentioned, those two women teaming up and they were successful last Friday night on SmackDown. And I still don't see how that answers why Io needs to be out here tonight. Or remains to be seen. The only two women who can answer that question are Asuka and Io themselves, but right now, Roxanne Perez is looking like she ain't worried about the genius of the sky, giving the Empress of Tomorrow the fight that she so requested. Roxanne Perez, all the tools to be a success, and she has certainly been a difference maker ever since being drafted over here to SmackDown in the month of April. Had some big time victories over Asuka, teamed up with Raquel Rodriguez and Tegan Knox in a big six woman tag team matchup the night she arrived on Friday nights. Now she runs into one of the cornerstones of the women's division. Damn near over the last decade here in WWE, that being the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Asuka has done it all, won it all, damn near beaten them all. It's still a fire to compete inside of that ring and to rule with an iron fist. I'm sure that's why Asuka challenged Roxanne Perez to this rematch tonight to prove that when Roxanne Perez pinned her just a few weeks ago, it was nothing short of an upset. Trying to lock in that arm bar. Dare I say a rookie mistake out of the veteran not watching Perez's feet underneath the bottom rope. Well, Asuka having her way. With the young prodigy herself, former NXT Women's Champion, NXT Women's Tag Team Champions. Roxanne Perez 
Been on the main roster over the last year. Spent a year on Monday Night Raw. Really started to have some eyes looked in her direction in the early half of 2024. But dare I say her best outings have been here on Friday Night SmackDown. Unfortunately for her, Asuka, the roadblock she has run into tonight. Although you got to commend the effort of Roxanne Perez for even accepting a challenge that she didn't need. She already beat Asuka a number of weeks ago. Truly nothing to prove for Perez tonight. However, it's Asuka who is looking to make her own statement. Hip attack, and that may be all she wrote. The Empress of Tomorrow not here to waste any kind of time, but Perez is still in this match. And I'll tell you, Raquel Rodriguez defeating Io Sky in a great Women's World Championship defense this past Saturday. I'm sure Io Sky would love to run it back with Raquel in the near future, but I'm sure both women inside of the squared circle right now, being Asuka and Roxanne Perez, would not mind getting their opportunity to become champion here on SmackDown. With Io pushed aside by Raquel this past Saturday night, gotta believe number one contendership is wide open. A victory for either one of these women tonight could certainly move them one step closer into challenging Raquel Rodriguez for the women's world title. Asuka is doing some work. And Roxanne right now. And this is what Asuka wants, just to beat down her opponent. Wrestle her style of matchup. There's Perez trying to get back into this, picking the ankles of the Empress of Tomorrow. Showing some signs of life. Perez breaking the grip. Neck breaker of her own. Roxanne Perez looking to climb the ranks one week at a time, one victory at a time here on SmackDown. Oh, and a Luthez from the middle buckle. Nicely executed as well. Asuka did not see that coming from a mile away. And now it's Roxanne Perez who has found herself back in control of this return matchup here on SmackDown. Nice arm drag. Oh, but now stuck into the hold of Asuka again. And Asuka dishing her own neck breaker. Now Roxanne may be seeing stars. Asuka obviously came in with a game plan foolproof tonight. Oh, man! Knockout blow any day of the week, twice on Friday. Thanks for coming, Roxanne. Asuka gets what she wished for here tonight. Roxanne is going to be a player, but tonight belongs to the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, winning this rematch from a number of weeks ago, and is Asuka eyeing up a championship opportunity in the near future. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast-paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way exclusively each and every Wednesday, only on the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on velocity. Competition at an all time high that you won't see anywhere else. Scan the QR code, follow on TikTok, and don't miss a second of velocity. Well, next week, we are back in the King's hometown of Atlanta, Georgia, and as Cody Rhodes looks for a homecoming, the Irish Devil J.D. McDonough looks to play spoiler. Cody knocked out McDonough in the first round of the King of the Ring. J.D. has not forgotten. Cody, McDonough, they lock horns next week in Atlanta. And the road to Money in the Bank has begun. And next week, the qualifiers take place here on SmackDown. Chad Gable coming up short earlier tonight. But another opportunity arises against Carmelo Hayes' running buddy, Trick Williams. And on the women's side of things, who is heading towards London, England? Will it be the genius of the sky, Io Sky? Or will it be the Latino World Order's Zelina Vega? Money in the Bank qualifiers kicking off next week. And as we saw earlier tonight, 
Carmelo Hayes is far from done with the one and only Ricochet, and he will get the opportunity he so desires. Melo runs it back with Ricochet for the first time since May the 4th and July 5th at the Great American Bash one-on-one -on -one for the United States title. And as we found out this past Saturday at King of the Ring, also coming up at the Great American Bash, the most electrifying man in all of sports entertainment. The Rock is coming to Friday Night SmackDown. What business does the Great One have on the show he created? We find out July the 5th at the Great American Bash. The following contest. The rules of the match are as follows. Two superstars will start in the ring. When one superstar is eliminated, a new superstar enters. Elimination can occur by pinfall, submission, or disqualification. The match continues until one superstar remains, and that superstar will be declared the winner. Well, it is main event time here in the Spectrum Center in Charlotte, North Carolina. And kicking off the gauntlet, the Apex Predator, Randy Orton. And from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 275 pounds, Well, the Apex Predator has had a rocky couple of months here on SmackDown, and I am sure drawing the first entrant in this gauntlet is not sitting well with a bona fide future Hall of Famer. Randy Orton has had some struggling issues with the almighty Bobby Lashley dropping Lashley with not one but two RKO's two weeks ago in Mexico City. And I am sure Orton was grinning from ear to ear watching Lashley fall in his pursuit of the World Heavyweight title this past Saturday night. But now Randy Orton has a chance to punch his own ticket to London, England on Saturday night, July the 13th at Money in the Bank to face off with the World Heavyweight Champion, Gunther. Imagine if Randy Orton would be the one to take down Gunther at Money in the Bank. And then Orton would move on to SummerSlam to defend the title against the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. A storied history that damn well may never be finished. We could see another round between Orton and Cody on August the 17th in Detroit. But before we get ahead of ourselves, we got to look at the field in this gauntlet matchup as Randy Orton the first to enter. And if he wants to make it to Money in the Bank, he's got to go through five other SmackDown All-Stars. And it looks like it's going to be fight night here on SmackDown. These two superstars, no strangers to each other. Many a battles throughout the year, legendary battles at that over the WWE Championship. But tonight is about securing the number one contendership for Gunther's World Heavyweight Championship on Saturday night, July the 13th. Randy Orton may not welcome the first spot in this matchup. Sheamus might have a different mindset. Sheamus always willing to throw hands with anybody inside of the squared circle. And if a fight it's gonna be, Sheamus willing to go through each and every SmackDown superstar to get his hands on Guther and try to become the World Heavyweight Champion. Orton and Sheamus kick things off in one of the biggest main events in quite some time here on SmackDown. A gauntlet matchup. Six superstars enter. The last man standing is on their way to Money in the Bank. Randy Orton and Sheamus kicking things off. Here at the Spectrum Center in Charlotte, North Carolina. Gotta wonder what the strategy here is opening up this matchup. You obviously want to get done as soon as possible and try to save your energy, but fatigue is inevitable in this kind of contest. Superstars like the Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov, the almighty Bobby Lashley, 
Elidolo on draw to eight, of course. Drew McIntyre waiting in the winds. Certainly isn't going to be any rest for whoever outlasts the other in this opening match in the gauntlet. Sheamus taking down Randy Orton momentarily. Talk about Randy Orton's had a couple of up and downs and been steering a rocky ship over the last few months. You look at Sheamus who walked away from Monday Night Raw after the Brawling Brutes were drafted to SmackDown, left Raw on a big time loss to carry and cross inside of a steel cage back in the month of April. Ever since then, things really haven't gone the way of Sheamus here on SmackDown. Fell short to the almighty Bobby Lashley back in the month of May. Came up short to Ilya Dragunov in the first round of the King of the Ring tournament. Sheamus with a huge opportunity to turn things around tonight. Trying to challenge Guther for the World Heavyweight title. Randy Orton, on the other hand, frustrated as all hell. Seems as if this man is never satisfied. Just as he was starting to turn things around with two consecutive victories over Cody Rhodes and a countout victory over the almighty Bobby Lashley. Lashley struck right back with a big time spear and a victory over Orton. Several weeks back on SmackDown, seemingly what propelled him to challenging for the World Heavyweight title at King of the Ring. It was obviously not sat in well with Randy Orton. The two RKO's a number of weeks ago in Mexico City. May be inevitable that Randy Orton, if he wants to fight Gunther at Money in the Bank, runs into the almighty again. Gotta imagine Orton is salivating to get that victory back and Sheamus dropped right on his dome with the elevated DDT. The Celtic Warrior still alive. Obviously a lot taken out of Sheamus off one of the Randy Orton signature maneuvers. You notice both of these men taking their time, not trying to extend that much energy as there's still a long road to go in this gauntlet matchup. It's such a high stakes, high opportunity, hanging in the balance. Neither one of these all-stars are gonna make any kind of mistake. They know what's gonna be up against. They can make it to Money in the Bank, and that is a man who owns over 30 victories and only one defeat since making his SmackDown debut, and that is the World Heavyweight Champion, Guther. A man who in just recent months has turned away Drew McIntyre, Bobby Lashley, the head of the table, Roman Reigns. Guther better than ever. Seemingly gets better every time the championship is on the line. Whoever outlasts this gauntlet tonight better be bringing their A game to London, England on the 13th of July. Sheamus trying to keep down Randy Orton off the back suplex not to be. Oh no, but Orton could be going for a ride. Sheamus with the Celtic Cross on the Apex Predator to advance into the gauntlet. Not just yet, Randy Orton still into it. Sheamus knocking down Orton momentarily, unable to get the three count. Sheamus obviously, however, heading in the right direction. Scooping a slam, Orton going behind and dropping Sheamus with the neck breaker. Greatly timed, much needed reversal by Orton that time, hoisting Sheamus in the air and dropping him with his own neck breaker again. Orton very much focusing on the skull and the neck region of the Celtic warrior Sheamus. Could be looking to soften him up for the RKO. Sheamus obviously knows that. These two superstars, no strangers to each other. Sheamus trying to avoid those three dangerous letters at any and all cost. Orton into the ropes. Sheamus, scooping a slam. Orton off the reversal. Orton goes behind in an RKO. Out of nowhere, Sheamus is hitting the showers. Orton advancing in the gauntlet matchup. And here we go. Unfinished business to be settled in the midst of this gauntlet as the almighty Bobby Lashley rushes the squared circle and he has not forgotten about those two RKO's in Mexico City two weeks ago. Randy Orton obviously not 100% after fighting Sheamus for numerous minutes. But you gotta believe Bobby Lashley is still feeling the fatigue of a war with the ring general Guther this past Saturday night. I don't think anything is going to get in Lashley's way 
of dealing an ass-kicking beatdown to Randy Orton tonight in Charlotte. Orton on the outside, Lashley throwing caution in the wind. And that just tells you one of two things. Lashley itching to get his payback on the apex predator Randy Orton and also itching for another round against the ring general Guther. Lashley looking to stop at nothing to keep down Randy Orton once more. He talked about the history between these two men. Orton defeated Lashley via countout back in the month of April. Lashley pinning Randy Orton's shoulders to the canvas back in May. And Randy Orton striking with not one but two RKO's in response a number of weeks ago on Super SmackDown. Lashley stacking the offense here with a couple of scoops and a slam. Randy Orton looking worse for wear. Bobby Lashley starting to have his way. Looking to cut the head off the snake tonight. I'll tell you what, I'm sure Randy Orton does not mind getting back inside the squared circle with Bobby Lashley. Looking to stick it to him once and for all. But this certainly couldn't have been the circumstances that Orton was dreaming up. Having to go through the Celtic Warrior Sheamus. Trying to fight through that pain and punishment. Let adrenaline fuel him to not only a victory against Lashley, but in Orton's case, hopefully numerous more victories to try to become the number one contender. Another lateral press by Lashley. Fortunately not watching Randy Orton's boot. Damn near underneath the bottom rope. Lashley is driving in the right direction at the current moment, but he's got to stay on Randy Orton, not give Orton a ounce of breathing room any chance for R&R &R, and any chance to do what he did to Sheamus a few moments ago, which has hit that RKO out of absolute nowhere. Randy Orton is down. He has been on the receiving end of several minutes of a beatdown. And now Lashley with a spear cutting Orton in half. And the almighty strikes again. Randy Orton is not going to be pleased when he shakes the cobwebs off. But there is no rest for the weary. Bobby Lashley needs to refocus. Cannot sit in the pageantry of getting that payback over the Apex Predator. As walking down the aisle is one pissed off Scottish warrior Drew McIntyre who has been waiting to get another World Heavyweight Championship opportunity since he fell short in the main event back at WrestleMania. You gotta believe McIntyre, more fired up than ever. As we mentioned, losing to Guther back in the main event of WrestleMania, originally losing to Guther back at Survivor Series on November the 19th of last year to lose his World Heavyweight Championship. Ever since then, McIntyre has been in hot pursuit of winning back the big gold belt. And unfortunately for Drew, there has been roadblock after roadblock, whether it be Guther himself, the Tribal Chief Roman Reigns at Backlash. McIntyre returned full head of steam in the midst of the King of the Ring tournament. Got past Ricochet in the first round, but was knocked off by the Mad Dragon Ilya Dragunov in the second. Bobby Lashley looking worse for wear on the apron as Drew McIntyre is unleashing some steam here tonight. I don't care if it's Bobby Lashley. Andrade, Ilya Dragunov, or anybody in the SmackDown locker room, nobody may stand in Drew McIntyre's way of becoming number one contender once again. Nobody may want it more than the Scottish Warrior who once reigned upon SmackDown for 267 days as the champion himself. Go for another cover there on Lashley. Lashley is still in this matchup. Fortunate for Bobby Lashley, was in control most of that matchup with Randy Orton and was able to exert enough energy to keep down the Apex Predator. Did Lashley overexert himself? And going into a matchup now, not 100% with the Scottish Warrior is never ideal, but Bobby Lashley looking to dig down deep tonight. Sending McIntyre for a ride. And now, a big time powerbomb. The same maneuver that Guther used to defeat Lashley this past Saturday night in New Orleans.
McIntyre set to the ropes, and this is what Bobby Lashley did to Randy Orton. Taking his time, picking him apart. Power moves, strikes, whatever Lashley's got to do to survive the gauntlet. Hoisting Drew up again, and another power bomb. Only a few men are going to be able to throw Drew McIntyre around like that. The Almighty certainly one of them. What do you think is going through the mind of the World Heavyweight Champion Guther as he sits in the backstage area and watches these SmackDown superstars duking it out for an opportunity to stand across the ring from the champion on July 13th? Side step by McIntyre and a Glasgow kiss. And that may be all she wrote for the Almighty in his pursuit of the gold, but Lashley is still in this gauntlet match. Great reversal and a strike by McIntyre. And a big boot that just crumbles the almighty in the corner. Drew McIntyre has seen one too many roadblocks in 2024 that have gotten in his way of once again becoming the world heavyweight champion. Something that McIntyre wants more than life itself. Lashley set into the corner once again, and clearly fatigue is starting to play a factor. McIntyre in the corner, ready to strike with a Claymore kick. Thanks for coming, Lashley. McIntyre moving on, not just yet. McIntyre's got to be racking his brain that Lashley is still in this matchup. Bobby Lashley went to war with Guther this past Saturday night. Fought Randy Orton moments ago in this gauntlet matchup. And now somehow has the will to shake off the cobwebs of the Claymore kick and continue to fight. Lashley's got something left in the tank, but it certainly ain't anywhere near full as he tries to keep down Drew McIntyre. Not to be just yet. McIntyre set of the ropes, Bobby Lashley Amazing agility being shown, especially in deep waters in this match. And the strength getting McIntyre up, but unfortunately unable to keep him there. I'll tell you what, if Drew McIntyre fails to win this gauntlet match tonight, it does not get a third round with Guther for the World Heavyweight Championship. Adding that on the cake that McIntyre has been dealt over the last few months here on SmackDown, the Scottish Warrior may just blow a gasket. A second Claymore, or excuse me, Glasgow kiss, and that is going to do it. Bobby Lashley out of here by hands of the Scottish Warrior. And now here comes Alita Lowe, Andrade, as the fifth of six participants in the gauntlet. Andrade making it to the second round of the King of the Ring finals a number of weeks ago, as did Drew McIntyre. Falling short to Cody Rhodes, did Andrade. And now he looks to move one step closer to challenging for the World Heavyweight title. And I'll tell you what, you cannot discount Andrade in this matchup. What he may lack in size and strength to Drew McIntyre, he certainly makes up with speed and ability. These two men, no strangers to each other, it was back in 2017 that Andrade defeated Drew McIntyre for the NXT Championship, injured him in the process, and may have just repeated history off that pair of boots. McIntyre looks to become the first man to win consecutive battles in this gauntlet so far tonight, but right now he is not looking like a winner. Andrade all over McIntyre since he entered the ropes. Andrade falling short in the King of the Ring tournament, not looking to see another unfortunate loss here tonight in Charlotte, North Carolina. McIntyre all kinds of tied up. I'll tell you what, the WWE Universe has felt a little indifferent about Drew McIntyre over the last few months. There's been times where McIntyre really acted out of character, really let the frustration get the best of him. But one man that this capacity crowd here in the Spectrum Center is certainly not a huge fan of is the man that Drew McIntyre just sent in the corner and down to the canvas with the boot. That being Andrade. 
Ever since his SmackDown return a few months ago, spent time trying to drive a wedge between the LWO, has gone up against several of SmackDown favorites, and Andrade's night may be coming to an end in a hurry. Cover by Drew, but Andrade is still in this gauntlet. Three men have gone by the wayside so far. Randy Orton eliminating Sheamus. Bobby Lashley eliminating Randy Orton and Drew McIntyre eliminating Lashley. As we mentioned, McIntyre looking to become the first man in this matchup to win consecutive battles. Andrade, however, looking to keep the pace going. Looking to let the fresher man be the predecessor and Drew McIntyre now is the one crumbling out of the corner. Andrade, wheels are a spinning and so is his body off the double mood salts. And the Scottish Warrior still alive. The former NXT, as well as United States Champion, damn near close to keeping Drew McIntyre down. Victory not to be just yet. McIntyre trying to create some distance here. This is where the size and strength of Drew certainly plays him dividends. Just shoulder blocking Andrade. We got Mack Truck sending him down to the canvas. And setting up for an amusement park ride. Drew McIntyre not looking to let anybody who is anybody in the SmackDown locker room get in his way of becoming champion once more. Waving the flag of the Blue Brown all over again. Spine Buster does not do it. May not have gotten the three count, but you gotta believe it took a hell of a lot of Andrade. And if it didn't, this powerbomb certainly will. We are on the road to Money in the Bank, Saturday night, July the 13th, where the ring general Guther will defend the World Heavyweight Championship against either Drew McIntyre, Andrade, or Ilya Dragunov. The winner of that matchup will go on to the main event of SummerSlam, Saturday night, August the 17th, Detroit, Michigan, and Ford Field to defend the title against the King of the Ring winner, Cody Rhodes. We know Cody will be back in action next week in his hometown in Atlanta against the Cruiserweight Champion, J.D. McDonough. But right now it is Andrade and Drew McIntyre fighting tooth and nail. Looked like Andrade countered the Glasgow kiss moments ago, sending McIntyre for a ride. And now a rushing leg sweep. This could be a huge upset in the midst of this gauntlet matchup if Andrade can keep down Drew McIntyre. And I would not want to be Andrade, whether he wins the entire thing or not, if he is the one to keep down McIntyre. We said it before, we'll say it again. McIntyre may blow a gasket if he does not become number one contender. And another much needed kick out that time as this gauntlet main event progresses. Oh, McIntyre kip it up like an absolute animal. Andrade getting sidestepped, set to the ropes, Claymore kick. McIntyre in to the cover and move it on. Has been eliminated. And that leaves us with two. The next ball will win the match. And we are right back to where we were two weeks ago in Mexico City as the man dragon, Ilya Dragunov, approaches the squared circle. McIntyre's gotta be itching to run this one back. Bella Sound and Claymore by McIntyre. McIntyre with hurry up offense. Ilya Dragunov almost caught within moments, but the man dragon continues to soar. Dragging off this past Saturday night, coming up short in the semifinals of the King of the Ring to the inevitable winner, the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. Dragging off pulled off some big time victories in the King of the Ring. First round defeating Sheamus, second round defeating the man who is instituting a powerful beatdown right now, that being Drew McIntyre. And has had to been a thorn in the side of the Scottish Warrior over the last two weeks, but now a chance to right the wrong of the King of the Ring tournament. Get through Dragunov and punch his ticket to Money in the Bank. 
Dragunov has gotten zero offense in. Entered the squared circle and McIntyre exploded like a caged animal with the Claymore kick. He might not have gotten the three count, but it looks like Dragunov is already nearing E moments after entering the fight. You also got to take into account Dragunov's battle with Cody Rhodes this past Saturday night. A grueling one at that. The Mad Dragon cannot be coming in 100%. It is one thing to be hurt, it is a whole other thing to be injured. Obviously these two superstars not injured and ready to compete, but neither of them are 100% right now. Both of them gotta be hurt for their own individual reasons. Drew McIntyre after going through two matches in this gauntlet so far, dragging off after the fight with Cody Rhodes, and now add in everything that McIntyre has dished out. Just stomping on the heart. The man they call the Invincible One, Ilya Dragunov, sending him into the diamond plate and steps, and now into the barricade. McIntyre will not be settled until he is world champion again. And right now, the only thing that stands in his way to becoming number one contender is the man who upset him two weeks ago in Mexico City, the Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov. The life has been taken out of this capacity crowd in the Spectrum Center. McIntyre is having his way, picking the bones of Dragunov right now. May not be overzealous, Dragunov getting out of the way that time. Ilya never won to be denied. Great strength being shown, an unfortunate road break on what could have been a three count. It is well documented how much Ilya Dragunov thrives off pain, thrives off the adrenaline, damn near welcomes it. Almost superhuman at times, as a man who is a former Cruiserweight Champion, former Intercontinental Champion, a semi-finalist in this year's King of the Ring Tournament. And Ilya Dragunov, if he can somehow, some way, upset McIntyre once more, will reignite an old rivalry with the Ring General Guther on Saturday night, July 13th. Dragunov needs to stay on the offense. Also not try to expend enough energy where he wears himself out. Look to be going for the Torpedo Moscow. McIntyre sidestepped it. McIntyre did his homework from two weeks ago and may have just put Dragunov out for good or not. Dragunov showing some signs of life. But look at him, needing the ropes just to try to get to the soles of his boots. McIntyre is just an angry beast that has just been let out of his cage and is hungry to pick on somebody's bones. Ilya Dragunov, the unfortunate soul that has been chosen. Man, if I'm Gunther and I'm watching Drew McIntyre, a man I've beaten not once but twice before, I've got to realize this is a completely different Drew that I fought at Survivor Series and that I fought at WrestleMania. McIntyre has been unhinged over the last couple of months and right here tonight is looking more dangerous than ever. Look at Drew just ragged on. Ilya around the ring. Right into the corner. Dragon all hoisted on top, trying to create some separation is the Czar himself. McIntyre set to the ropes, going for the knee. McIntyre avoids it. Glasgow kiss. That's going to do it. A great effort by Ilya Dragunov, who somehow is still alive. Dragunov is still in this contest. You saw Cody Rose this past Saturday night. Had to result to the schoolboy pinfall just to escape, dare I say, Ilya Dragunov in the semifinals. Ilya Dragunov, a tough puzzle to figure out for anybody. Now McIntyre finds himself in the corner. Ilya willing to risk it all to become number one contender. From coast to coast, take it out McIntyre. Dragunov's gonna do it! Another upset! Incoming! Not just yet! McIntyre gets the shoulder off the canvas. The gauntlet matchup progresses. 
I don't like this. Dragunov going to the top and a crash and burn as McIntyre sidesteps the man Dragon. And that truly might have been the last itch effort by Ilya Dragunov. Took a lot out of his own body just to hit that coast to coast. Putting himself in harm's way. And now McIntyre is once again the aggressor in this contest. Suplex on Dragunov. And once again, the air has been taken out of the Spectrum Center. Drew McIntyre having his way with Ilya Dragunov in a snap of the fingers. The man Dragon is just looking absolutely slayed at the current moment. McIntyre somehow in these deep waters. Look at the strength of this inhumane Scottish warrior. Another lateral press by McIntyre to try to go to Money in the Bank. But Dragunov's heart is still beating. McIntyre's got to be racking his brain. What the hell is he going to have to do to keep down Dragunov? Damn near a 20-minute war two weeks ago in Mexico City. McIntyre sent into the ropes and a torpedo Moscow out of nowhere by Ilya Dragunov. Into the cover. He got him! He got him for the second time! Another upset by the Man Dragon! Here is your winner, Ilya Dragunov! McIntyre is going to blow a gasket when he wakes up from that knockout blow. But the result is this. Saturday night, July 13th, Ilya Dragunov one on one with the Ring General, Gunther for the World Heavyweight Championship. No shortage of history between these two superstars and, oh man, the World Heavyweight Champion, Gunther approaching the squared circle. Ilya Dragunov was the one who several years ago ended the 800 plus day reign of Gunther as the NXT United Kingdom Champion with Cody Rhodes looming at SummerSlam and Ilya Dragunov signed, sealed, and set to be delivered at Money in the Bank. Are the walls starting to close in on Gunther's dominant reign as the World Heavyweight Champion? We find out Saturday night, July the 13th, Gunther Dragunov for the big gold belt in London, England.